Hi, everyone. I am Dr. Miriam Smith, DNP. I'm the host of Empower New Nurses show. And today, I'll talk a little on the COVID-19. I've been asked the question many, many, many times about my experience during that in 2020 in particular. I must say that it was challenging for me as an educator at the time because I was as anxious as everybody else. I was crying at times. I had different responsibilities that I had. I had to make quick decisions, fast decisions. We had to huddle with my team. We huddled. We had to meet and make some plans in order to meet the needs at the time in ensuring that lives were saved to the best of our abilities. And so I must say kudos to the team I worked with at the time because we had real good team strategies. We were good team players. We forgot ourselves and we worked for the patients. We worked to put plans, strategies, everything together to ensure that the best came out of us sacrificially. And so I can recall there were times when I, I cried repeatedly. Uh, everybody was scared because we weren't sure of what's happening. We're hearing this, things were changing like, I wouldn't say just daily, but I would say maybe hourly or so, or even more frequently were at times, and we had to make the adjustment. We had to adapt. Um, there were times when it was just amazing what we accomplished in such a period. It's like the brain cells decide to act over time and work over time, and the frontal lobe was just I would say maybe it was overburdened at times because we had to use those cells. We had to think and make things happen. Of course, to me, with God's help, because we were just hearing strange things at times and we had responsibilities. We had to huddle, share our thoughts, put plans together and implemented them before, you know, it was just one of those things whereby everybody pulled their resources and their thoughts together, both mentally and physically. Uh, I can recall one evening when we had to move from one hospital to another, just to ensure that some of our nurses who haven't been practice cl practicing clinical care had to be trained up again. Some of them knew, some were they were outside of the box in terms of they weren't practicing this type of nursing and it was difficult for them and we had to be compassionate we had to exercise patience and of course pull back many back to the bedside and that sometimes were very uncomfortable but um we accomplished a lot and i must say that with great leadership and brilliant minds and of course innovations cleverness and all the above in caring in ensuring that the best was given sacrificially but I can recall one of the one time I went in on the units and on some of the units and nurses were just looking at us to give as educators what do we do we had to educate rapidly they had to learn quickly um, young nurses who never had 
some experiences, had to learn the experiences right now and then. And so this was an experience for all of us who have never had the, we have never had this sort of ex these experiences before. But many um, hundreds of nurses were trained in a short time and were able to give care. There was, I can remember one day when one of the IC units was so short and I and my colleagues, we just had to just pull the white coat off, get on board, whatever we could do to help, put in some profile, put in some cleaning the machine, the bench for someone who came off to go on working as a team with the respiratory, the doctor, the people who are helping to turn patients in different positions. I mean, it's a pressure that's prone in order to help for that um, aerating of the lungs. It was not a play. It was indeed not a play. But I must say, we had to also educate the um, nurses to do the test, the swabs, and the test um, so that they can send it to the lab, send off. To, it was it was interesting what we did accomplish, I must say. And with the cooperation, of course, you will have some resistance at some point because it's something new and fear is a part of the whole process. And after a while, um, nurses were able to, you know, settle in and care for all these different cases and i must say that we will never like to relive knowing also that there were times when the trailers were out there with bodies waiting for more bodies we huddled in the mornings giving report and you're hearing another sound another um, cold call it was overwhelming. It was indeed. But we all worked together as a team and were able to accomplish great exploits, I would say. And some died, some lived. And um, we had to give emotional support to each other, also to the patients. It was difficult for the patient's family not be able to come and see their their family members even when they were passing were dying and um, different initiatives were made some nurses were able to make a, a call or a speak on the use of device devices um, and be able to communicate with the family talking to other friends from different hospitals were saying Miriam you know what happened Wow, I spoke with this patient that was, patient was terrified, all of that. When I reached home, I called, the patient died. It was something. You were just hearing about deaths upon deaths upon deaths upon deaths. It was difficult at, in those times to really um, give, a, I would say, have a session. It might be a quick one, but it, the time for education was really limited. But we had to do it. We had to do it to ensure some survival. But I think the entire health care system was um, almost paralyzed sometimes. It was just so overwhelming. But I must say, thank God, um, many of us pulled through. You had nurses who died, you had doctors who died, you had neighbors who died, and we all could identify with hurts and pains. And we needed that mental healthcare also. There were evenings when I went home and I had to, I was crying. My daughters would hand me the bag at the door for me to drop my stuff in my hospital clothes or sometimes we change up my hospital and put change into another outfit. It was an experience. Oh, the experiences were, some of them were gross, but guess what? We survived. So we have a lot to be thankful for. So a shout out to all those who participated in the care of others during this COVID time, the COVID time. And just remember as you go today, it's not all gone. Keep your precautionary measures, stick by them and do your part so that this disease can be alleviated so that we can 
crush it, crush it, crush it indeed. Let's do our part to crush it. That's my take. Nice for you to listen. And that was a little of my experiences that I had during the COVID at the peak of it. Um, you can follow me on Podcast Mirror. It's Instagram. YouTube, Miriam Amanda Smith. Podpah, Miriam Smith. Facebook, Miriam Smith. It was really nice connecting with you. Just giving you a little tidbit of my experiences during that time the covid in 2020 and um, a lot more to say but i'll be short right now thanks for following and may you be encouraged there's a lot more to go on so follow me subscribe comment give a like i appreciate you miriam smith